Uh, one of the things that I've heard uh, in years past, and I'm curious to get your take on mm -hmm. this, is that because there are such distinct philosophical differences between allopathic medical schools and osteopathic medical schools, I actually heard someone say not too long ago that if you're applying to osteopathic medical schools, you actually shouldn't apply to allopathic medical schools because um, it represents a different philosophy, it's a different type of a program. Right. What do you think about that? Okay, so here's my take, and this is the former pre-health advisor hat. Right. I'm wearing now. So what we've seen since around 2007 is the shift, right? The shift in pre-meds around the country um, and their, their approach to how they want to practice medicine. So now what we're seeing is three categories when they're applying. The first category is I only am applying to DO schools. Mm -hmm. That's my philosophical mm -hmm match, that's my fit, and that's where I'm going. The second category of pre-meds that we're seeing is I'm applying DO school, it's my primary choice. Mm -hmm. And then maybe I'll have a few MD schools. And then the last category is I'm not sure, I know I have options, so I'm applying both MD, DO, because I need to do the interview process, go to the campus, really get a feel for what's the better fit for me. And mm -hmm. so um, so that's what we're seeing on a national level. And um, it's really been quite fascinating to see all of this happening. Mm -hmm. And the numbers um, in terms of the application for ACOMIS, we've now seen seven, we're, we're going on our eighth consecutive record-breaking application cycle. That's amazing. The numbers are incredible. Um, last year, we closed the 2014 ACOMA cycle at nearly 150,000, oh, sorry, 160,000, pardon me, um, <laughs> applications. Um, and right now, we're sitting at about 145,000 applications in the 2015 cycle, and we still have until April 1st to go.